In the previous video, I introduced you to two new trigonometric identities, and here they are. 1 plus cot squared is cosec squared, tan squared plus 1 is sec squared, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to use one of these in order to solve sec squared x is equal to 4 plus 2 tan x between 0 and 2 pi. Okay, so the first thing to do is to think, right, Look for an item, a trig function there that is squared, okay? Because we have squares for each of our trig identities inside um, these two equations, these two trig identities. So, what we're going to do is we're going to look for sec squared. And sec squared, I can see here, is equal to tan squared plus 1. And so I can replace the sec squared with tan squared plus 1. And the right-hand side will remain the same. We can then move everything onto the left-hand side of the equation. So we have tan squared, take away 2 tan x, and then take 4 from both sides, we get minus 3, is equal to 0. So we now have a quadratic equation in tan in order to solve. Now, with this equation here, we should be able to factorise it. So tan x, tan x. Okay. So we're going to have minus 3 and plus 1. In order to get the minus 2 there, the minus 3. So either tan x is equal to 3 from this bracket, or tan x is equal to minus 1 from this bracket. Okay. So... We need to make sure that our calculator is in radians. Inverse tan of 3 is equal to 1.249 to three decimal places. So x is equal to 1.249. And then, well, if unsure, always a good idea to make a little sketch in solving your trig equations. So x is, uh, tan x is 3, so there's 3. So there's our first solution, 1.249. Our next solution is by adding pi. So add pi to it. So 4.391. Now they're both given to three decimal places. Okay. We also need to solve tan x is equal to minus 1. Now minus 1 would be down here. So we've got two solutions to get for that one. So inverse tan of minus 1. Now that gives us a minus pi over 4 which is this solution here, okay, to the left of the y-axis. We don't want that one, so we're going to add pi onto that, and we get 3 quarters pi, or 3 pi over 4, okay, and then add on another pi to get this solution here, so we get 7 pi over 4. And so we have 1, 2, 3, 4 solutions, okay, um, that solve the original um, problem involving sec and tan. Okay, so this is how the trig, uh, the new trig identities can be used.